Hong Kong is a southern oasis for China. It has shiny, clean streets, high education standards, and cheap foreign products. Many Chinese parents dream of giving their kids a Hong Kong lifestyle. Some try to make that dream a reality by giving birth to their child in Hong Kong. If a mainland Chinese parent gives birth in Hong Kong, then the child gets permanent residency. With residency, the child can also enjoy the benefits of Hong Kong's social welfare system. Many outside of China might not be aware that those from mainland China don't get into Hong Kong so easily. They certainly don't get access to their public facilities easy either. In 2001, the number of non-Hong Kong births in Hong Kong was 620. A decade later, in 2010, the number soared to over 32,000. From 2001 to 2011, over 170,000 of them have received Hong Kong permanent residency. Those babies take up resources for social care and welfare services, which used to be exclusive to Hong Kong residents. People in Hong Kong have resorted to protests against sharing the facilities with mainland Chinese people who come down to use them. After Hong Kong's new chief executive, C. Y. Lung, came into power in 2012, he insisted on pushing a zero-tolerance policy to forbid private hospitals from accepting non-Hong Kong people from giving birth there. The policy began being implemented at the beginning of this year. Although the new policy has largely controlled the situation, the consequences are just being realized. Those mainland children who are born in Hong Kong cannot get household registration in mainland China. So if they want to study in mainland China, they have to either pay a lot more money to study international schools in Shenzhen or study in Hong Kong. They can end up commuting for more than four hours between Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Apart from that, the underground market for giving birth in Hong Kong still exists. The black market is putting both pregnant women and unborn babies at risk. As China Business News reported, pregnant women from mainland China giving birth in Hong Kong will pay underground agencies to get them a fake marriage with a local resident. Applicants only need to provide Hong Kong travel passes to agents. Those people would counterfeit the rest of the documents for a marriage certificate. But the cost is not cheap. Usually it would cost about 260,000 yuan, or 42,000 US dollars. Most of the applicants are mistresses with rich husbands in mainland China. This makes sense since they aren't concerned about really getting married themselves. By doing this, it can help disguise their identities. Another way is to get residency from an African country. This is because the Hong Kong government does not restrict foreign people from giving birth in Hong Kong, but agencies would charge more for this. The cheapest price is usually around 65,000 US dollars. However, this also creates risk. The Chinese government does not permit dual nationality. Therefore, the person's Chinese nationality will be taken away once this has been discovered. Don't go away because up next we'll continue to look at mainlanders giving birth in Hong Kong. Stay tuned.